that we just read in the Bible. That didn't happen to no other people on earth. No other people on the earth went into captivity on slave ships. That only happened to the so-called blacks and Hispanics. So that being the case, this is who you are. These people in the Bible are who you are. And we are here to show you that. Like Thus saith the Lord thy God. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again Read. with ships. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Read. thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies Read. for bondmen and bondwomen, Read. and no man shall buy you. So when you were sold off those slave ships, you were for sold for bondmen and bondwomen, for slave men and slave women. That is your history, so-called black people. So-called Hispanic people, that's your history. When you got off the slave ships, you were sold. You were sold. That's your history. Read that part again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Bible says that you would, when you get to wherever you was going on that slave ship, you would be then sold. Sold to your enemies. For what? For bond men Read. and bond women. For bond men and bond women. That would happen. Thus saith the Lord thy God. That's what we're showing you who you are in the Bible. Young ladies, y'all know what Jesus looked like? What Jesus look like? Oh yeah? Okay. What does Jesus look like? Let me ask you a question. You want to say, is this Jesus right here? Yes. That's Jesus? Yes. Is that written in the Bible or is that what somebody told us? Is it in the Bible? Yeah. This This image right here is in the Bible? No. It's not? You sure? It is. Okay. All right. What about this? So, so if that's Jesus, right? Yeah. Then who was that dude right there? The devil. That's that's the devil right there? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if that's true. Give me Revelations. Oh, yes, yep, Revelation one. So we're gonna read the Bible. We're gonna read the young ladies. Yeah. Y'all two right here. We're gonna read the Bible and we're gonna see if Jesus looks like this or if Jesus looks like that. We all call the devil. Okay? Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So we're going to reveal Jesus Christ. The Bible is going to show you what Jesus looks like. Do y'all understand what reveal means? Young ladies, do y'all understand what reveal means? To show something, right? Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible is going to reveal what Jesus looks like. Read on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. So go to 14. Read this. Watch this. We're going to now read about what Jesus looks like out of the Bible. And let's see. Okay? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says that Jesus' hair on his head, right, and the hairs on his face were white. Is, look, is any of these pictures got white hair? No. Anybody got white hair on these pictures? No. Okay, so the Bible says Jesus has white hair. Read as white as snow and that his hair was woolly and white as white as snow That's Jesus. right read and his eyes were as a flame of fire so the bible says that jesus eyes were as the flame of fire so does this guy right does this guy right here have red in his eyes read the bible and his feet like unto fine brass so let me ask you a question what's, what's your name Manaya. My name is Nehemiah. Nice to meet you. Let me ask you a question. What color are your feet? Are they the same color as your face? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right? The same color as your arms, your feet? <laughs> is that the same color as your body? Right? So what color is Jesus' feet again? Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it says Jesus' skin on his feet was like fine brass. <laughs> Do any of y'all know what brass looks like? B-R-A-S-S. -S. Yeah, no. no, not grass, but brass with a B. B -R brass no. is brown. Brass is brown. Okay, it's a derivative of brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. And the Bible says that Jesus' feet were so brown, it looked like he had been burnt in a furnace. So let me ask you a question. Does this guy's skin, is it brown? No. No? But this is what they say Jesus looks like. No, that's but is, what the, is this what the Bible says? Is, does the Bible say Jesus' skin looked like this? No. Nope. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So Jesus' skin was like fine brass. Read. 
as if they burned in a furnace. Meaning they were so dark like they had been like they had been burnt. So let me ask y'all a question. If you burn something, what color does it turn? Black. Black. Oh, that's what it turns, right? Yep. Read it again. That's and his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So look, this is brass. Y'all see these pennies? Mm -hmm. That's the color of brass, right? No, look at the color of the pennies. They're brown, right? That's brass. Which one of these images has skin that looks more like this, these pennies? Okay, that's correct. It does. That's brown. Look at this. See? See that? That is brown. That's brown. Is that not brown? That is it is brown. brown. What color is what? Okay, that's not brown. What color is that? Okay, same thing, right? What color is this guy right here? Is he the color of the pennies? Black, purple. He's the color of the pennies? Yeah. Right? He's the color of the pennies. Yes, he's brown, right? So the Bible says that Jesus, that Jesus has skin like burnt brass. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they had been burnt in a furnace, right? So the Bible doesn't say that Jesus looks like this. That's right. The so Bible says that Jesus looks like this. Yes, yeah, so that is Jesus. That right. This is the correct image oh of him. God. Now we're not saying that this is actually Jesus, but we're saying that he looks, according to the Bible, more like this than he does like this. Because this isn't written in the Bible. This guy has stringy hair, right? Yes. And it's long and it's brown. Right. But does the Bible say Jesus' hair is long and stringy? No, it has said woolly and woolly, right? So this hair is woolly. Guess what? Manaya, right? Yeah. Your hair is woolly. You got the same kind of hair as Jesus. No, you got the same kind of hair as this guy. Read. Read from uh, 14 again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The hair on Jesus' head was woolly like your hair, like my hair. Woolly. And his, and his beard and mustache were woolly. Read. As white as snow, and it was completely white. What you would call a a uh, your grandfather, your grandmother, the old person, they have gray hair. So Jesus had fully white or gray hair, right? Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, Read. and his feet like unto fine bread. The same kind of skin you got. Your skin, uh, say it again for me, Manaya. Your skin is burnt brass. That's the kind of skin you got. So you have the same skin color as Jesus. So that should make you proud. Because you know who Jesus is, right? Who is Jesus? Who, who is Jesus? Yes, who is Jesus? Do you know who Jesus is? No? Can I show you who Jesus is in the Bible? Give me that. It is evident I'll want to say. Give me that. We're going to show you who Jesus is according to the Bible. We're going to show you what the Bible says Jesus is. Because we just found out that Jesus don't look like this, right? Right? That Jesus looks more so, according to the Bible, Benaiah, he looks more so like this. Right? Right? So now we're going to find out who Jesus is. Because like I said, you should be proud that you look more like Jesus. You should be proud of that. And I'm going to show you why. Got it? Read that. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Watch this. For it is evident, it's evident that our Lord sprang out. Who is Jesus? Our Lord. Who is Jesus? Our Lord. That's who Jesus is. Jesus is our Lord. And you look like our Lord. That's right. You understand? So you should be happy and proud about that because you look like our Lord and Savior. Right? Our Lord and Savior looks just like us. You understand? Read on. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. And he came out of the tribe of Judah. Let me ask you a question. Where are you from? You know where you're from? Where were you born? You were born in Philadelphia? You know, you know your father, right? Was your father born in Philadelphia? So guess what? Come over here. I'm going to show you something. Bring it out. Come right here. Read that again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So the Bible says that Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? So right here, the so-called black Americans, those that was born in Philadelphia, Look right here what it says. Where it says that Christ is. See that word right there? It says Judah. See that? So you come from the tribe of Judah. Guess what? You come from the same tribe as Jesus. That's right. That's why you look like Jesus. Because you and Jesus come from the same family. Read it again. That's right. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So our Lord and Savior came out of Judah and Maniah. You do too. 
you come from the tribe of Judah, just like our Lord and Savior. You understand? So you should be very, very proud about who you are. You understand? So let me ask you a question. People in the world, they tell you that you, what's your race? They tell you what your race is what? Black? So are you black? No. So what are you? You from where? From the tribe of Judah. You're not black. You're from the tribe of Judah. You understand? From the nation of Israel. That's who you are. So if anybody else calls you a black person, you say no. According to where? Read it again. Call it and read it. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. You say according to Hebrews 7 and 14. Read. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. You say no. I'm, I'm from the same tribe as our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. I'm not black. I'm from the tribe of Judah. That's what you tell somebody the next time they ask you what your race is, okay? All right? That's who you are. So you just found out today that Jesus looks just like you. He got the same kind of hair as you, and he come from the same family as you. He come from the same tribe, the tribe of Judah. All right? So you live with your mom? So when you see your mom, you can tell your mom that, okay? That's what it is. Hey, sis. Sis, how you doing? Hey. What's your name, sis? I'm Deja. Deja? Nice to meet you, Deja. My name is Nehemiah. You okay, sis? You okay, sis? We are here to teach our people, right? We are here for you. Officer. Yes. Image of God or image of Christ? Okay, let's deal with that. We was just, you know what? We was just dealing with that with young, say your name again? Manaya. We no. was just, Manaya. We were just dealing with young Manaya about the same topic, right? So Manaya just learned the true image of Jesus. Let me come to look at this sign for me, sis. We got some visual aids for to help you out, right? All right, sis. So, sis, who do the world say this guy is right here? The world and society. That's what they say, right? Okay, and this is everywhere on earth. Like if you, if you Google Jesus Christ, one of these would pop up, right? Okay, so my question to you is, is this imagery in the scriptures as Jesus? Does the Bible describe him looking Pale with long stringy hair. No. no. Okay, it doesn't, right? They keep saying no. Okay, so from what what's from what we understand, mm -hmm. nobody's seen his face. That's not true. So who's seen it? How did they hang him on, on a cross if nobody's seen it? I'm talking about us living here. Oh, you in, mean in currently? World. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We didn't we didn't see so it. Hold on, but nobody that you don't know. Hold on, no. But seen. but the Bible wrote a record of Jesus. You're right. Okay, so let's okay. So can we? Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. You believe what the Bible says? Yes. You believe it's the word of God? Yes. So yes. if the word of God has the record of Jesus and how he looks, we can believe that, right? Even if we didn't physically see him with our own eyes currently, right? That makes sense, though. That oh, makes that sense. makes sense, right? Okay, so let's go to the record and let's see what it says. Read. Read okay. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it's a Deja, right? Yeah. So Deja, what does, what's the root word of revelation? What's the root word of revelation? Yes. What's the root word? R root? Yes. R-O-O-T. Um, read. Reveal. Yeah. It says the revealing of Jesus. Mm -hmm. To reveal something, you're doing what? You're you seeing it. Okay. So the Bible's going to re reveal who? Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible's right. going to reveal Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Read on. Things which must shortly come to pass. Read on. And he sent and signified it by his angel read. unto his servant John. So the angel brought the brought it to John, and John did what? Read. Who bear record? Who did what? Who bear record? So John bear record, meaning wrote it down. Yes, read of the word of God. So he's gonna bear record of the word of God concerning or revealing his son Jesus the Christ. Right. So let's see what the record John wrote about Jesus the Christ. Bring Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Question. Head, hairs, they are what kind of attributes? It's white. No, it's what kind of attributes are those? Physical. Right. So we're talking about Jesus' physical appearance. That's okay. Because head and hairs are physical attributes. Right. Are they spiritual attributes? No. No, they're physical, right? right. My hair, my head, your hair. That's right. physical. I can touch right. it, right? You can see it, right. Right. Okay, so it's read it again. His head and his hair. So, so John is writing down Jesus' hair color, right? right? And what else? Read it from top. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says that Jesus' 
hair on top of his head. Mm -hmm. Hairs means beard. It's an old word for like beard, hairs. So his head, the hair on his head, and his beard was white like wool. Mm -hmm. Wool is a texture of hair, okay. right? White is a color, correct? Right. What people have woolly textured hair? White people. They do? Wait, no, we do, sorry. Yeah, so-called Negroes, so-called right. Blacks. Yeah. We have what they call woolly hair or what they call today nappy, nappy. right right but right. god don't call it nappy god call it what read it again his head and his hairs were white like wool so god wrote the record of his son having white woolly hair, woolly hair right? right so is that what we read this no we didn't read that right right did we read this white woolly hair i mean yeah can you can you see it yeah i know it's getting a little dark is that woolly yeah. Is it white? Yeah. Okay. Read the Bible. As white as snow. And it was so white since so it was completely gray, or what we call gray, which was white, right? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it says Jesus' eyes, the whites of them, were like red, like fire, right? You know, when we drink a little bit, the whites of our eyes get red, right? Mm. So it says that Jesus' eyes were red. Any of the depictions that they got around the world, is any of his... Of the whites of these eyes red? No, because that one is blue. Okay, but what about this image? I know it's a little dark. We try to get a light on, but the whites of his eyes, are they red? Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's strike two of this, and this is being proven to be correct mm -hmm. out of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Show what we read it. The Holy Bible, right? Not, not some I wrote, right? right? Okay, read on. And his feet. Okay, now it's talking about feet. Now, sister, all praise to the Lord. I can see your feet. No, the please. same way John could see Jesus' feet. Bring it out. Right? right? I'm looking at your feet, and they are not different from your face in color. Right. Your feet are brown. Your face is brown. Your arms are brown. Your neck is brown. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. So Jesus what? And his feet. And his feet meaning what? His skin color. Yeah. Right? Read. Like unto fine brass. Fine brass. What color is brass? Black. Brass, brown. yes, brass is the derivative of brown, correct? Read. As if, as if the brown, the brass was as if what? As if they burned in a furnace. So the brass was so dark, it looked like it had been burned in a furnace. What happens to anything that's burned in the furnace? It turns black. It gets dark, it's black, right? Okay, so who is this? <laughs> No, sister, seriously, because our whole society, right, mm -hmm. and our people who specifically, we, we don't, we don't understand what the Bible says, and we all believe that this is Jesus for the most of us, right? Mm -hmm. The majority of our people, so-called blacks and Hispanics, believe that this is accurate, right? Mm -hmm. But according to the Bible, what's accurate, sis? That he's black. Which, that, right? Right. Okay, so, let me ask you a question. So now we understand that, right? Mm -hmm. So now you know where to go to prove it. Mm -hmm. You know to go to Revelations chapter 1. Revelations chapter 1 proves Jesus' physical image, right? So for John to write that, John saw him, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we, like you said, well, we didn't see him today, but we got the record that God left for us to read how he looks, right? right. Mm -hmm. So can we believe the record? I mean, yeah, it's the Bible. It's the Bible, right? So I believe the Bible. So I come on up, sister. Come on, come on. So I believe the Bible, sister. So the Bible says Jesus looks more like this. Now we're not saying that Jesus looked like this in the face. Because we don't know. It didn't write that. We just you know how you know how a cop, if you would go to a cop somebody broke in your house, and they say, hey, what did the guy look like? And you'll give a description, and they'll draw the description with the, that you gave them. Right. So like it's called a composite sketch, right? Mm -hmm. So this is just all this is. It's just a composite sketch of what's written in the scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. So the question would be, well, you know, why would we do that? Why do we, why do we put the the picture up, right? Mm -hmm. Because this has been in the earth. Right. But way before I'm, I'm, I'm getting my age. I'm 44, right? Way before I was born, this is in earth. Way before my dad was born, this is in earth. Way before you was born, this is in earth. Way before my granddad was born, this is in earth. Right? Mm. So we give the image because this has to be destroyed. Because right. this is a lie. This is a lie, sister. Mm. According to the Bible, right? That's right? John 8 32. So we're not out here to give you a lie. We're out here to give you this. Read. 
John chapter 8, verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth. So God says you shall know the truth. Right. The truth is Jesus looks like that. Read. And the truth shall make you free. Because we want our people to be free. Right. We're not freed in America. Right. We're captive. Right. We just have liberties. Or oh, you can go to work. You can go to the store. You can go to the movies. But you're under another nation of people. Right? right. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says you shall know the truth. What truth? That Jesus is a black man. Thus saith the Lord. That's the truth they're gonna do. That's gonna do it. Read it again. John chapter 8, verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth, Read. and the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. That's out of Jesus' own mouth. So I'm giving you what Jesus said. That's not my words. Jesus said, give them the truth, because the truth is gonna set them free, right? So we're giving you the, the truth, Deja. That's this right. is your Lord and Savior. That's right. He looked like you. Why would this dude save you? Seriously, a serious question. Why? Why would he save our people? This is the same man that did this. This is the same man that did this. The same race of man that they say is our Lord and Savior did this to our people. Does that make any sense to you? You're educated, sister. You don't seem dumb to me. Does that, does that make sense to you? No. That the, the man that did this to our people is going to be the same race that's going to come back and save us? That makes sense? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 